It's that time of the day where you get to sip and spill and vibe with us. When I say us, obviously, I'm not alone. With me, it's Elsie Godwin and the fair all my who are more than capable to keep the fire burning. What's good, guys? <laughs> yeah, <very> good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a picture of I was war. about to say I'm, something like, eh? it felt like it was your, only your burning that was burning. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you guys are not feeling the hits right uh, now? Like the weekend wasn't hot enough for you or what? Hmm. What does that even mean? Tell I me about your weekend we actually. Let's, let's know how it went. I was on the ground. Yeah. And that was enough fire. Now. The sun of yesterday. Not all through. Not all mm. through. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, they told 30 plus people on twitter that we should take care of us <laughs> <laughs> that we don't have energy so mm. i'm thinking of myself um i'll go there see what's going on that's it like you have people. energy mm. i do see. how do i have energy Let me expose you no explain how babe you expose. have energy you cannot protest i suppose now no i've seen you should we go to the makeup room when there's music and you'll be uh -huh. giving them there's a lot of energy for that <laughs> please you have energy yeah but i mean the the movement is on yeah um, i'm proud of the people doing what they're doing mm. and the weekend was interesting i mean different conversations from different angles mm. different feminist coalition sega link who else again nigerian queer whatever was also and then the nigerian army, army. Um, army. allegedly I'm, I'm glad that they came out to um debunk. debunk that and they're saying they're doing their regular routine they're not out there to disturb protesters mm. and they're encouraging us to exercise our human rights, right? Mm. Or is it our civil right now? So mm. um, I'm glad for that one. And maybe we should touch on the feminist um, coalition and the LGBTQ affair. Tell um, me, what do you I'll think, Velma? Yeah, let's talk about that because um, Segalink has officially said he's no longer the face That's of That's not the first time he's saying it, please. <laughs> no, but this time I think it means that it's, it's, it's put out a lot of tweets. And I'll be and very okay And he's that. talking too much. You he think is. he's talking? Yeah, I think yeah, he but is. Yeah, but I, I know Ife is actually on a report right now. On, um, yeah, um, and um, Sega yeah. Link has been dragged in your report according <laughs> to no, whatever. No, we are going to undrag him. I think he's already dragged himself enough. He doesn't need my assistance. Uh, I was talking about the... My report is basically about the feminist movement and how they have been beneficial to the SARS. A lot of people have been beneficial. But I was making emphasis on this feminist movement. I think a lot of um, anti-feminist people would find that surprising because it is a preconceived notion that they're only supporters of female and children but that's not true as long as one one race is one gender is um attacked then all genders are attacked on you know we, like we always say if one person is not free then we're not all free um which is why i was kind of disappointed that sh um feminist underscore co whatever that their name is on twitter feminist took down coalition feminist coalition i'm also i was kind of disappointed that they took down that post that they put up about you know queer people and all that. I can understand that the pressure must have been real and we're a lot more homophobic than general. But you have to make it make sense. You cannot ask people. Mm. For me, for me, for example, I've never for one day been physically harassed by SARS ever. I've never been attacked. I've never mm. been dragged. I've been in the I've been in, in, in the um, association of people who were dragged, but they protected me. They said, Madam, step aside. Now, there's people I want to face. Like, they didn't <laughs> actually attack me. But I've gone there every day. I've only from from the inception. I've only missed a protest twice, and that's because I literally didn't have a choice. But I stood with people because I felt that if one person, if it's that because of your hair color or your phone or whatever, you know, then it's unfair. And every oppression is I'm against all oppression. So I'm mm. fighting with you on that. You cannot say in the midst of championing that that then some people who are also um, abused because of the. Um, sexuality that they have chosen birth into whatever the argument wants to be that then uh no we're not talking about you guys so brutality is okay in some aspects just not mm. all aspects okay but uh, what if you want to I look at it from the legal point of view where um the lgbt community is not actually supported by the nigerian law how would you address that i would still say there's a lot of things that are not supported by the nigerian law and we're still protecting you see mm. even the even the yahoo boys if you put them on this table am i am i am i protesting that they shouldn't be brutalized i'll say yes mm. absolutely i don't think that what they do is legal and they should be arrested but nobody needs to be brutalized True. for that. So True. I would say even if the True. law says that they are wrong, they should still be a protest. They should. They still need the protection that we are trying to get for everyone. And no matter your crime, you can be civilly arrested. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I like that the Feminist Coalition Twitter page has deleted the tweets. I mean, I personally do. Yeah, um, I Not do because too. I do not support the plight of the LGBTQ movement, but because I see it as a distraction, why? I mean, there were some tweets I saw where people said, 
we were all fi we were fighting for all lives yeah. until you brought that into the conversation. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're looking at the legalities and how we are trying to make sure we actually win this fight and right. not do anything that would discredit the movement. At the end of the day, even before that tweet was made, we've seen people come out to say, oh, we're this, we're that, we're queer, and we joined the protest and we're molested and this, and people have come out to say this is wrong, we're fighting for everybody. It's just like coming out to say, oh, um, the girl child is more important in this and movement, the or the boy child is more important in this movement. We we're fighting say, for everybody. So having to come out to include them in your line of people that you're fighting for, what does that mean exactly? I feel like the fight has been for everyone. And anyone who feels like because the LGBTQ mm -hmm. are not highlighted in gold to say they are part of this movement that are being fought for, mm -hmm. do not see... I, I think those set of people are not looking at... Um, the future and what we actually want to get out of this protest. I really, I, I really wouldn't emotion. want to get into this LGBTQ conversation because um, I would like to see your report first, and I'd like to see. My report is not about the LGBT. No, I know, but at least it's kind my, of my, my report is not going to. It's not going to help that conversation. It's I don't think. Help. The, I don't okay, think so the feminist coalition would have highlighted them if we were not trying to exclude them to begin with. So I think it's uncertain to uh, even uh, say that. Um, they were not bringing them up until we realized that the protesters are making a conscious effort to segregate them from the protesters while all fighting. When mothers came out to say, this is a mother's plight, mm -hmm. nobody said, um, go, and, go and do your own thing in another corner. When, it's, 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 <clears throat> it's, so it's, I, feel like, I feel like it is... Don't, they, we shouldn't act brand new that the feminist coalition is trying to bring them and say they were, we're trying to make special emphasis on that. No. It is because they were removed. That's what it looks like. It's, it's because protest. they were removed from the um, inclusion of everybody. When the touts and the the smokers and the whoever's, we go to the protest. We see okay, people if are I, let me ask you a question. How, how exactly were they removed? Sorry. How because were they removed? Because they were removed? harassed. When they come out to say we... They, uh, they were not the only ones harassed so far. Okay, and if, so, if so I like, can I ask you a question? If you make a statement about that, that please, or while while you're at it, don't harass these people. What's the issue? If with I, that? Let me ask you a question. That was not what that if said. I come out with a placard, I mean, Yahoo boy and SARS, mm -hmm. right? Would you come for me? Everybody would come for you. Yes. Are you, right? are, are you are, now? If I come out to say I'm queer, I'm gay. And SARS and SWAT. Mm -hmm. It's not supported by the law. We know. Okay, let's let's talk about this law thing for example. That yeah. you keep emphasizing on because yeah. last I checked, it isn't that being gay as an entity is illegal. Being caught in the act of sexual homo, um, what's it called, sex, um, same sex um, 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 activities is what the is law illegal. is quite ambiguous. So, so if I, I don't understand what, what you mean by that. Laws in Nigeria, but exactly. Can we not dwell on this? But enough? but don't let us dwell because on this. But I'm just because now we're trying we're trying to. Choose sides, which is something we always do. We get to pick it's and choose, choose side. whenever this, this it favors us. This conversation is about morals, yeah. and each person's morals are different. Yeah. But while you're at it, whatever your morals are, it doesn't give you any right to oppress any any group of people. All right, period. all right, all right, all right, all right. Tensions are flying, but um, at the end of the day, we need to uh, move on and know that you guys should all know that we stand against police brutality hashtag and police brutality but we plan to have a relaxed show today you know in Messi's voice um i just want to relax I'm and be taken care of. of you understand me that's what we're doing today and on that note we have a special shout out to somebody hmm. That person, Jara. Is the boot or a bay? Is the boo? Is the ying to the me? I used to claim the ying to the yang. Now that's a proper it's real ying. ying is the, the proper ying to the yang that puts the ying in the yang. <laughs> yeah. So, um, big shout out to you, Jara, and um, that's in, ca in case in case you don't know who that is. That's um, it fell my experience. Hey, and um, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Why are you doing your eye like this? <laughs> Come on, send out something sweet. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday. It's okay. Why are we now. turning up? I can't sing for, for nothing. We're going to Australia. We're going to another country. Please, let me understand. Where are we turning after up? After the show, so we don't have so too much happening after the show. I mean, we'll talk about after the show. If you, after after the show. I mean, we'll if you don't take me out of the show, tomorrow morning. <laughs> you. I why am... are you so selfish? I'm here with you, Ben. I don't understand. Okay. Why are you taking <laughs> Why mouth? are you removing me from the question? What happens to your mouth? <laughs> we'll Where are you taking us? We'll make a plan. So that, you know, there's social distancing. I'm trying to attract a lot of crowd. Good. Mm. Good. <laughs> All right, good. All right, then. All right, so um, on that note, happy birthday once again, Jara from the Tea Time crew. And um, we're moving on to the main...
discussion of the day, which our first story is on the Nigeria Official Selection Committee for the Academy Awards, IFF submissions. NOSC has confirmed that the Academy will now consider movies with dialogue in Pidgin English. The latest feat, according to Chineze Anyaine Abonyi, NOSC's chairperson, was achieved after several months of being in communication with the Academy as well as visits to Los Angeles. Anyaine made the confirmation through a press release containing details of the timeline of the committee's progress. The press statement further reveals that the committee is solely responsible for achieving the new feat for Nollywood, contrary to reports circulating the media. What's your take on this, <clears throat> man? <clears throat> I think it's a good one. Um, mm. I think this gives us more chance because I remember when we were having a conversation regarding Lion's Heart and um, Genevieve mm -hmm. Naji and how possible it is for someone who is actually making a movie for commercial purpose as well, not just um, the Oscars to actually make something in just one language and get mm. the figures as well. Mm. Although the conversations were, oh, the Indians or different parts of the world do movies and subtitles and then we watch it and we say enjoy it and you can still explore that. Um, but we have to also look at the, the population and demography of people globally that can actually understand a particular language. But when it comes to Pidgin, um, Pidgin is one language that I know a lot of Nigerians can try to understand. You cannot say everybody actually understands it because it, it kind of seems very technical for some. I they think feel so like everybody understands, but not everybody, everybody can speak it. Everybody understands it? You don't think so? I don't think everybody understands it, but a good number of people definitely understand. do understand it. And if you're looking at the commercial value of your movie production, then that's a win-win for you. So it's either right. you're adding Yoruba and Pidgin or you're adding... Um, Ibo and Pigeon, Aosan mm -hmm. and Pigeon. It means that one way or the other, we'll understand what we're trying mm -hmm. to say and the message pass, of course, uh, adding subtitles as well. So, yes, this is a good one. Shout out to Anya Ine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. I got that. I mean, I agree. I agree to the fact that this um, new development is very, very helpful. Um, Nigeria being really diverse, it's it can be it can be hard to achieve like a common commonality for everyone. And this isn't like you even mentioned. It's not the biggest commonality, but I think it makes a good effort. The reason why I would say that not a lot of people I am still understand pigeon is because it's still English based, and English is not something that everybody understands. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I get that, but I, I even feel like it's a good um, attempt to try to make English more accessible, if that makes sense. Like, mm. people will be able to learn English better with the attempt of Pigeon. Um, I, I, I remember saying when I came back that Nigeria is one of those places that, to me personally, we don't really embrace a lot of our, our indigenous roots. Like I've seen in SA, in SA, rich people in malls and banks, they speak it. Here, it's almost like if you speak too much Yoruba, you're not really that, you know, you're not really that classy. Mm -hmm. You're not really you that. You have to be able to switch from Yoruba to English yeah, in a to way. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that this type of thing is a, is a first, direct, um, first step in trying to really normalize uh, our roots, make it look more, I don't say, make it look more palatable, if anything. If also starts to... Because I know we have that issue of post-colonial, whatever. Mm. But if mm -hmm. Oscar starts to really address and say, this is beautiful, we are acknowledging it, we are awarding it, maybe it can start to really um, penetrate through the minds of the people who have post-colonial issues with who they are and their identity and really help us to get more comfortable with that. I think it will also help a lot of the people who already have art in that form. It will help encourage people who do radio in Pigeon, who act in Pigeon, who make skits in Pigeon. I remember having, uh, when, we talk, when we had Lolo, on the table and her conversation around Lolo. Lolo, sorry, and her conversation around that as well. Like I thought about that, and a lot of wins I think will happen with this new um, mm. new development. Yeah, Character. what you have mentioned as well is the mm. fact that she said the the opening for submission. I know it had closed. It mm. closed on the on the second of October. So she <coughs> said they might have to reopen Open. it, give a mm. window of about two to three days for people to mm. um, submit their pigeon um, movies. So. Mm. Please look out for that one and maybe look All at right. her Instagram page so as well. I'm touching a very sensitive path right now because um, we need to know the Nigerians, regardless of how we preach unity and all of that, we're still quite tribalistic. Mm. Now, this is off the back of um, a conversation I had with a girl over the weekend. You know, I was just playing and trying to woo her and trying to tell her that, oh, girl, I like you and stuff like that. I thought you were in a relationship. 
calm down. Like it's a joke. That's why I said it's a joke. I said it's a joke. I was just playing with her. Calm down. My girlfriend is watching, so would I throw myself under the bus? Oh, because there's no girlfriend. You forgot for a second the lie you've been trying to keep on this table. So you now jabbered. Well, that could also be. I don't know why you're so interested in my relationship. Ah, because sorry. you made us very interested in it. You brought us into the relationship. <laughs> I'm on so sorry table. you guys can't have a chance with me, but it's all good. Let's just move on. <laughs> Hey. All right, so back to what I was saying, right? Um, I was I was having a conversation with this girl, and she said my mother would never let me marry a Yoruba guy. Mm. My mother would. So not. she was seeing you and seeing your husband already. She. I don't understand how the conversation got. <laughs> Isn't that the same way you feel? But let's go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, she she said my mother would never let me marry some Igbo guy, and then it led to a, I mean to 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 Yoruba guy, mm -hmm. and then it led to a full on conversation, and people around that to get involved. Like, mm. do you know Igbo people actually? Now, sorry to all Igbo people out there. They're like, do you know that you guys are the most tribalistic um, um, sex we have in Nigeria? Because you guys are always talking about, oh, your daughters must marry Igbo guys and all that. Because my brothers, I hope they're both married to Igbo girls. That doesn't mean your brothers are not doing the same thing too, though. No, I know. I know. But where just, are you going to do? So where I'm going to with all of this is, um, well, but I'll keep my train of thought, but we need to go on a break. Okay. And tea time, we'll be right back.